first exercise. Three, two, one, begin. Let's begin with the first exercise. Stand in a wider stance with your arms raised at your sides at shoulder level. Your palms should face up. Now step with your left leg to the right and reach with your left arm overhead, bringing it to the right side. Return to the starting position and step with your right leg to the seconds. left and reach with your right arm overhead to the left. Return to the center and repeat. This is a gentle exercise that will warm up your body by stretching your shoulders, arms, and core. 10 seconds. It'll slowly increase your heart rate as well. Make sure you start at a comfortable pace and stretch Three, your muscles. Three, two, one, rest. Next exercise. Three, two, one, begin. Stand in a narrow stance with your arms at your sides. Now step with your left leg to the side, lightly tapping the floor and bring it back to the center. Repeat with the right leg. Move your arms at your sides with elbows bent as when you walk. This is still a gentle warm-up exercise. You can slightly seconds. increase the pace from the first one. It'll warm up your body and loosen up your joints. It'll increase the blood flow to your working muscles. Pay attention to proper coordination, finding the right rhythm when Ten stepping seconds. to the side and moving your arms. Three, two, one, rest. Next exercise. Three, two, one, begin. Now let's begin with more challenging exercises. Stand in a narrow stance and raise your arms at your sides at shoulder level with palms facing down. Now cross your arms across your chest and kick forward with your left leg. Step down and bring your arms to the sides. Next, repeat the movement with your arms 20 seconds. and kick with your right leg. Alternate legs. This is a great exercise that targets your shoulders and chest muscles, as well as your hip flexors and thighs. Make sure you keep your arms at shoulder level and kick as high as you feel comfortable. Keep your legs relaxed and core engaged. 3, 2, 1, rest. Next exercise. Three, two, one, begin. For the following exercise, stay in a narrow stance with your arms in front of you facing down. Now step with your left leg back, extend the knee and lightly bend the right knee. Raise your arms at your sides to shoulder level and squeeze your shoulder blades. Feel a stretch in your right hip. Step back in seconds. and repeat with the right leg. Step back and open your arms at your sides. Return to the starting position and repeat, alternating legs. This exercise will strengthen your core and upper Ten back seconds. muscles. It will also work on your thighs and glutes. Three, two, one, rest. Next exercise. Three, two, one, 
begin. Stand shoulder width apart with your arms at your sides and elbows bent. Now reach with your left arm overhead to the right side and rotate your body slightly to the right. As you bring the arm down, lift your left knee and bring the elbow and knee together. Next, reach with your right arm overhead to the left side 20 and seconds. as you lower, lift your right knee and bring it toward your elbow. Return to the starting position and repeat. This is a whole body exercise that targets your core, thighs and upper arms. 10 seconds. It improves your endurance as well. Make sure you stretch your muscles as you reach toward the side. Three, two, one, rest. Next exercise. Three, two, one, begin. For the next exercise, stand hip distance apart with your arms at your sides and make a fist. Now bend forward by pushing your hip back and slightly bending your knees. Your upper body should be parallel to the floor. Push your arms back. From here, extend your body and reach with your arms up toward the ceiling seconds. and lift your heels off the floor. Return to the starting position and repeat. This exercise targets all major muscles in your body, such as your core, back, arms, thighs, and calves. 10 seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Next exercise. Three, two, one, begin. Stand hip distance apart with your arms at your sides. Now bend your knees slightly and bring your arms in front of your legs. From here, circle with your arms in front of you, reaching toward the ceiling and extending your knees. Bring the arm down and bend your knees. Repeat the exercise. The exercise seconds. targets your shoulders and arms as well as your thighs. Make sure you perform a full circle with your arms going through the full range of motion. You can slightly bend your elbows. 10 seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Next exercise. Three, two, one, begin. Let's continue with the next exercise. Stand in a narrow stance and raise your arms at your sides at shoulder level. Turn your palms to face forward. From here, step with your left leg to the side, lightly tapping the floor, and bring both arms in front of your chest. Return to the center and repeat with the right seconds. leg. Step to the side and bring your arms forward. Return to the starting position and repeat. This exercise targets your front shoulders, chest and inner thighs as well as your glutes. 10 seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Next exercise. Three, two, one, begin. Stand in a wider stance and raise your arms overhead and bring your palms together. 
This is your starting position. Now hinge at your hips to bend forward until your body is parallel to the floor and lower your arms between your legs. You can bend your knees. Straight up, twist 20 your seconds. hips forward and repeat. This is a great whole body exercise that will strengthen your shoulders, core, glutes, hamstring and thighs. As you bend forward, be careful not to arch seconds. your back. The movement should come from your hips. Three, two, one, rest. Next exercise. Three, two, one, begin. Next, stand in a narrow stance and raise your arms overhead. This is your starting position. Now lower both arms at your sides and lift your left knee to hip level. Clasp your hands under your legs and step down, raising your arms overhead. Next, lift your right knee and lower your seconds. arms. Alternate between the legs. This exercise aims to strengthen your core and hip flexors. It will also tone your arms and shoulders. Lift the knee as high as you feel comfortable. 10 seconds. As you progress, you will be able to lift it high. 3, 2, 1, rest. Next exercise. Three, two, one, begin. Stand hip distance apart with your arms at your sides. Now step with your left leg back behind your right and bend the right knee. Bring your left arm across your chest to the right side and move your right arm behind your back. Keep the weight on your right leg. Return to the center and repeat with the 20 right. 20 seconds. Step behind the left leg and cross your right arm across your chest to the left side. Bring the left arm behind the back. Return to the starting position and repeat. This is a whole body movement that works your shoulders, arms, core, and thighs. Three, two, one, rest. Next exercise. Three, two, one, begin. Start in a wider stance with your arms raised in front of your chest level. Your palms should face down. Now transfer the weight to your right leg and curl your left knee. At the same time, bend your elbows and row back, pushing them behind your back. Squeeze your shoulder blades. Bring the arms seconds. forward and step down. Next, transfer the weight to your left leg and curl your right knee. Again, row back, bringing the elbows behind your back. Return to the starting position Ten and seconds. repeat. This exercise works your upper back muscles, front thighs, and hamstrings. Three, two, one, rest. Next exercise. Three, two, one, begin. For the following exercise, stand hip distance apart with your arms at your sides. Now hinge at your hips and bend forward until your body is parallel to the floor. 
push your arms behind your back. From here, stretch your body up, reaching your arms toward the ceiling and lift your heels off the floor. 20 seconds. Return to the starting position and repeat. The exercise will also work on your thighs and glutes, as well as your core and arms. Make sure to hinge at your hips and maintain a straight back throughout the exercise. 10 seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Next exercise. Three, two, one, begin. Now let's perform an easier exercise to get some rest before continuing. Stand hip distance apart with your arms at your sides. Now inhale and raise your arms overhead, bringing the palms together. With an exhale, lower them to the sides and repeat. This exercise will lower your heart rate seconds. and give you an active rest. This is a great way to take a bit of a rest when doing a longer workout. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Three, two, one, begin. Begin standing in a narrow stance with your arms in front of your chest and hands clasped together to bend your elbows. Now lift your left knee high and tap the knee with your hands. Squeeze your core muscles and step down. Repeat with the right leg. Alternate legs. This is a great exercise to engage your core muscles and your thighs. Lift your knee as high as you feel comfortable, and as you progress, try to raise it higher. This will increase the challenge. Make sure not to lean back as you leave your legs. 10 seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Next exercise. Three, two, one, begin. Stand hip distance apart and as before, bring your arms in front of your chest and bend your elbows. Make a fist with your palms. Now lift your left knee high and twist your body to the left, bringing both arms to the left side. Squeeze your core muscles. Step down, lift your right knee, 20 and seconds. twist your body to the right, bringing your arms to the outer right side. Return to the starting position and repeat. Exercise targets your side core muscles and your thighs, especially your upper 10 thighs. 10 seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Next exercise. Three, two, one, begin. Stand in a narrow stance and bring your arms in a boxing position in front of your chest and make a fist. Now step with your left leg out to the side, stretching your inner thighs and reach with your left arm out to the side like you would like to grab something. Extend the right arm. 
Return to the center, step with your right leg seconds. to the side and stretch your right arm out. Return to the center and repeat. This exercise targets your shoulders, core, front and inner thigh muscles. As you step to the side, Ten you seconds. can slightly bend the knee. You should also feel a stretch in your inner thigh. Three, two, one, rest. Three, two, one, begin. Stand in a narrow stance and raise your arms in front of your chest with your palms facing each other. Now transfer the weight on your right leg and step back with your left leg, stretching your hip. Bend the right knee. At the same time, bend your left elbow and push your elbow behind your back, bringing your palms to your side. Keep 20 the heel seconds. of your left leg up. Return to the center and repeat with the right leg. Step back, stretch your hip, and pull your elbow behind your back. Return to the starting position and repeat. 10 seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Next exercise. Three, two, one, begin. Stand in a narrow stance with your arms in front of your chest and palms facing each other. This is your starting position. Now step with your left leg forward and tap the floor with your toes. At the same time, open both arms to the sides, pressing your shoulder blades on your back. Step back in and return your arms in seconds. front of you. Next, step with your right leg forward and again, open your arms at your sides. Return to the starting position and repeat. Alternate legs. This exercise works your front Ten thighs seconds. and glutes as well as your shoulders and upper back. Three, two, one, rest. Next exercise. Three, two, one, begin. Stand in a wider stance and bring your arms into a boxing position and make a fist. Now transfer the weight on your right leg and curl your left knee, bringing the heel toward your buttocks. Punch with your right arm forward. Step down and bring the arm back to your chest. Next, curl your right knee and punch seconds. forward with your left arm. Step down to return to the starting position and repeat. Alternate sides. The exercise will strengthen your chest and shoulders, as well as your front thighs and hamstrings. 10 seconds. Make sure as you curl your knee to squeeze your hamstrings to activate them. 3, 2, 1, rest. Next exercise. Three, two, one, begin. For the next exercise, stand in a narrow stance and raise your arms at your sides at shoulder level. Now lift your left knee to hip level and circle fit your arms, making a small circle. Step down and repeat the same with your right knee. Alternate legs and keep performing circles with your arms. 20 seconds. This exercise will work your shoulders and hip flexors. 
Try to keep your arms at shoulder level throughout the exercise. Lift the knee as high as you feel comfortable. Try to maintain a rhythm throughout the exercise. 10 seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Next exercise. Three, two, one, begin. For the following exercise, stand in a narrow stance and bend your elbows, keeping your arms at your side. Raise your palms so they're at chest level. Push your elbows back behind your back. This is your starting position. Now step with your left leg back Stretching your hip and bending your right knee. 20 seconds. Press both arms forward, extending your elbows. Return to the center and repeat with the right leg. Step back and press with your arms forward. Return to the starting position and repeat. 10 seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Next exercise. Three, two, one, begin. Now, stand hip distance apart with your arms at your sides. Lift one arm overhead and push the other behind your back. Perform a swimming stroke, lifting one arm and lower the other down. This is an upper body exercise that will improve mobility in your shoulders. Make sure you go through a full range seconds. of motion. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Next exercise. Three, two, one, begin. Stand shoulder width apart with your arms at your sides and make a fist. Now lift your left leg and bend your elbows, pulling your arms up to shoulder level. Your elbows should point out and your palms should be in front of your chest. Step down to return to the starting position and repeat with the left knee. Next, 20 seconds. perform the exercise with your right leg performing two lifts at a time with the right leg. Alternate legs. This exercise will work your shoulders and arms as well as your front thighs and core. 10 seconds. Make sure to squeeze your arms as you lift the elbows and keep your core engaged. Three, two, one, rest. Last exercise. Three, two, one, begin. Let's finish the workout with some deep breathing. Stand in a wide stance with your feet pointing out. Keep your arms at your sides. Now bend your knees to lower to a squat and exhale, bringing your arms in front of you. From here, Inhale and stand up, stretching your arms overhead and reaching toward the ceiling. Exhale and lower to a squat. This exercise will help you lower your heart rate and calm you down. 
Perform it in a slow pace, focusing on breathing 10 seconds and allowing your body to rest. 3, 2, 1, rest. Thank you for joining us in this workout and we hope you can follow us on our other socials. Have an amazing rest of your week and we hope to see you soon.